All right, so today we're showing you our demo for the NestDev project for Senior Design Oregon State. Um, this test is showing functionality of several different blocks. Uh, first off, we have uh, our memory. It's on the NES protoboard made up that just connects up to the console and uh, all the connections for the mapper, which we have a uh, Lattice Mach X02 CPLD on a breakout board. Uh, guys up at Portland and hooked us up with that, sponsoring our project. And uh, we just have some connections being made on some whiteboard over here. Um, since the CPLD is a 3.3 volt part, it's not 5 volt tolerant. Um, we've got the NES console uh, being powered off of about 3.3 volts right now. Um, and so currently we have uh, Excite Bike being played. This is a NROM 128 mapper, uh, and so we are. It has uh, 16 k bytes of probe memory, and we're going to be f programming the whole setup with uh, Dig Dug 2, which is NROM one or NROM 256. Uh, which has twice as much program memory. Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, turn things off. And so uh, the additional block that's being tested today is our controller. Um, here we have a hardware programmer set up separately. Uh, it's an adaptation of the Kazoo project, um, but we've got our own code and everything running on here. Uh, so we just need to connect things together here. And uh, so right now the CPLD is configured as uh, play mode, and so we have to configure it for. Uh, uh, run mode or program mode, sorry. So change these jumpers. We'll do that. So now we're in program mode, and then the other thing is, is uh, we change the input for uh, NROM two fifty six. So normally these. Uh, operations be done by our uh, microcontroller on the final project, um, but since we have separate blocks here, we need to do that manually. Uh, so, first thing we do here is we open up our uh, software and we're going to program 32 k bytes of probe memory as dig dug two. Uh, and then program that, and then we will program our 8k bytes of CHR memory. And that's done. So now all we have to do is put the device in play mode. And then we can disconnect. And now we've got uh, Dig Dug 2 running. And so we successfully programmed uh, the memories with two different mappers um, on testing the controller, mapper, and memory blocks. Uh, thank you very much.